Greetings everybody. So, back into Magic. Time Spiral Remastered. We're going to open one of them. And once again, if you're feeling lucky, subscribe. Write your name in the... Uh, write down, sorry. What card it is you'd like to win from those that I open. And I will use a random number generator. And if yours comes up, you will be the winner. And I will contact you and post out the card. So this just got released today here in Australia. So let's see how we go. A very expensive box, to be honest. But at the same time, the EV is quite good, expected value. So, of course, that being the case, lots of people might buy them and open them and could have lots of cards floating around really quickly. So let's see what we've got. We'll hit it off straight away. So remember, you like a card, you write it in the comments, you subscribe, and you could win. So we'll just flick through the commons, and then we'll get to... Oh, I missed. I think I'm, oh, I'm not holding in the right spot for a start. Angel's Grace for your rare. And Contagion Clasp. And there you go, so that's the first lot. All right. Probably should have got my glasses for that. Couldn't really see it very well. Okay. So we've got coming up some very, very good cards in this set that were worth quite a bit of money. So, um, Porphyrian Nodes, if that's how you say it. And Tauran Sky Summoner. Okay. Oh, and we've got our foil. But it's a common. Okay. So there we go. So we've got, of course, I think the most valuable card in this set is Thoughtseize. So we'll just have to see if we can pull one of them. Oh, I'm feeling lucky today. I reckon we might. Okay, we've got Kerr Keep. Okay, if you're first rare, and Grey Merchant of Ashfredel. Okay. Alright. So, next one. Let's see what we've got here. These packs are very easy to open, actually. Compared to some. So, I guess that's good. Easier. And... What do we got? We've got Pact of Negation. A nice one. There we go. Probably our best one so far would be my guess. Solemn Simulcrum. So, if you like that one, just put it in the comments. And subscribe, and you may be the lucky winner. Okay, I want to open it a bit different. Oh, still trying to get there. Okay, let's see what we've got here. There you go through it, and we have got Lotus Bloom. Hello, Lotus Bloom. I believe that's a good one. Molten Rain. Don't think that one's so good. Okay. Haven't really looked up many of them individually to see which one is the best. I believe Thought Seize is. Um, so, at the moment anyway. But we'll see what we get. Aeon Chronicler. For your first one. And Thraven Inspector. Yeah, very good card that. And a foil. That's foil all over. Cloud Cedar. That might be one of the special foil ones that I've heard about. So there you go. Maybe. Okay. We'll see. I guess if a lot of you people put it down in the comments, then it probably is. So, we'll see. Okay. Flicking through. Oh, I missed the... Yeah, I did. Magnus of the Moon. I think that's the most valuable rare in the set, actually. So that's a pretty good pull. And Grenzo Dungeon Warden. Okay, and another foil. That's foil all, all over, so I'm probably wrong about that. Um, Gatham Raiders. So it's probably just a foil. We'll see. Some kind of time spiral foils or something, but I can't... Or I didn't look up what they look like, so even if I come across one... I'm probably going to be oblivious. So there you go. That's okay. 
There we go, going through them. And we've got Wheel of Fate. And we've got Shram Senior Edificer and another foil. So I'm getting foils galore here. Um, yeah. And that might be, I think that's a rare. Okay. There we go. Still got a long way to go, folks. A long way to go. And let's see. So I got this on the day it came out, which was today. And hopefully I pull some really good ones. Draining Welk for a rare and manifold key. Okay. Uh, you two good ones from that deck. And let's see if we're getting the next one. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Um, we've got Vesuvan Shapeshifter. And we've got Vandal Blast. The old stored style border. It's always flashback. Sort of genres always. I don't know. It does something and people love to see it. And of course... Wizards have tapped into that, and they're probably going to make a lot of money from this set, would be my assumption. Which, of course, is what is the whole aim. Life and limb. Okay, and Master of the Pearl Trident. There you go, and another foil, Vesuvan Shapeshifter. And... Might be a rare. I wish I brought my glasses. I really can't see. <laughs> Those foil ones are very hard to see if it's silver or gold or what it is. So, actually, my glasses are right next to me, would you believe? So I'll just get them out. Ha! Huh, glasses on, so I should be able to see it a bit better now. Makes things a lot clearer. Silly me. Okay. So J.R. Ballad Task Mage and Exquisite Firecraft. Okay, there you go. A good one and your token. Now I'll be able to see things a lot more clearly. Silly me, didn't. I had them right next to me all the time. Okay, so I oh, opened it backwards. Okay, or they put it in backwards, one or the other. Okay, maybe that means it's got something special. Glittering Wish and Stinkweed Imp. Okay, just remember, write down the card you would like to win and subscribe and you can win that card. I've given away lots of cards already. And I think I've sorted out the postage. I haven't had too many comebacks since. So, hopefully it's all good now. Okay, what do we got? Um, Hivestone. And Timor Ascendancy. Okay. Yeah, getting through them. Um, still don't think I've got an absolutely massive, massive one if that's the right word, but highly valued one yet. I've got a few good ones. Let's look for some of the real good ones. That's what we want to see. Okay. Cattery, no. Here we go. Talaria West, I believe that is a good one. And Sylvan Scrying. And another foil. Okay. There we go. Oh, just knocked the camera. Let's see what we get in the next set. We have got. Okay. All the foils. Foils, not foils, commons, I should say. And Sudden Spoiling. And Arcade Strategist. Okay. Okay. Yes. It's a bit... I don't know if the price is going to work against that and restrict some people away, because it's just cost me $280, and some people don't have that kind of spare cash. Okay. So, is that the... Oh, it must be this one. Oh, okay, well, I've got to not put them in the camera. Urbog Tomb of Yorgmoth. And Farseek. Okay. For that, Yorgmoth is a good one. 
so that may end up in the comments a fair bit with them I guess getting through there's a few I think will end up in the comments but anyway um, pulmonic, pulmonic sliver and sorcerer's spyglass okay yes this deck is bringing the slivers back in a big way and I really like slivers more so than a lot of people like the elves and goblins I don't know I just really used to like the slivers so it's pleasing for me to see the slivers come back and look at that another sliver straight away yeah um, where we go here we've got Heartwood Storyteller and Beast Whisperer. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else we've got coming up. It does take a while to go through them all. I am trying to do it relatively quickly because I know you guys are pretty much only interested in the mythics. Gemstone Caverns, thank you. I'm positive that's a really good one. Lingering Souls. I've got no idea. And a foil arc blade. Okay. So off the top of my head, I'm thinking we've got three really good ones so far. That could be more. And we've still got a long way to go. Let's see what we've got now. Mm, got to find a way to do it quicker. Greater Gargaden. And... Eternal Witness and a foil tendrils of corruption. So there you go. All right. Some okay ones there. And next one. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we got? We'll flick through, and we have got Felon of Havenwood, and we've got Bedlam Reveler. Okay. Okay. Probably could do with less cards in a pack, to be honest. I mean, most of them are worth close to nothing. You could probably do away with... I reckon they could get rid of about seven or eight commons. Because um, they don't really get used anyway. That's just my opinion. And we've got Extirpate. Extirpate. Never heard of that word. And we've got Leveler. Okay, uh, some more, okay, I mean 15 in a pack, seriously, just takes up too much space, okay, and we've got Magnus of the Future, and we've got Treasure Cruise, that was a very powerful card back in the day, and it, I think it's been banned from most formats, if not all of them, so there you go, but Probably one of the more valuable cards in the set would be my guess without looking it up. Of course, I could be completely wrong. But it was a very powerful card back in the day. Okay, what do we got? We've got Fungus Sliver. And we've got, ah, oh, Monastery Swift Sphere. Now, that is a very good card for red aggro decks, which I tend to prefer myself. So, there you go. That's probably a good one for me, but yeah, I don't know. Quick games are good games, what I always say. Rather than those decks where the person just spends forever having shot after shot after shot because they've got some great synergetic thing happening, which just annoys everybody. Oh, Damnation. Very good card. And Palace Jailer. There you go. And our foil. Okay. Getting down, we're into our last third. Even a bit under, actually. Still haven't seen that thought seize I was going for. So, maybe not. Getting less likely now. Oh, Sliver Legion. There you go. Winner. I'm pretty positive that's right up there with one of the best. And Mortify. Okay, I may see that one appear in the comments. So, yep, you like that. If you like that one, you just got to put it in the comments and also subscribe. And if you're lucky, you'll be the winner. 
in one of my others, I've only got one person in who's commented, so they will win easily. So sometimes I haven't had a lot of entrance. Ancestral Vision is probably a good one. Vampire Hex Mage. There you go. Okay. We're getting a few better ones now, I believe. Very impressed with the Sliver Queen. I think that's one of the main ones. Pretty confident of that. So, there we go. What do we got? Nope, wrong one. We've got Mangara of Corondor. Oh, the good old Mal Drifter. Yes, ridiculously powerful. And we've got a Foil Swarm Yard. Yeah, okay. Got no idea. But it's foil and it looks gold. So, here you go. I will have to look these all up after I'm done. Um, and obviously give away the winning one. So, hopefully there's lots of good ones. So, I'm left with some good ones. Um, no, it's just the way it works. Trying to build a YouTube channel. And what do we got? Reiterate. And we've got Ancient Den. And we've got a Foil Paradise Plume. There we go. Okay. And now what do we got in this one? Oh, we've got about five packs to go. We still haven't got the four C's, which probably the odds are not great. Okay. Um, Miri the Cursed. Ah, oh, Liliana's Triumph. And a Foil Knight of Circe. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, another start off with a sliver. You can certainly build a sliver deck from all these without too much trouble of having to get any from anywhere else. Um, okay. Here we have Flagstone of Trocair. It looks like a rare. Lands are usually worth a bit, but I don't actually know. Probably is. Hedron Archive. Oh. Oh. Feather the Redeemed, which has got a lovely little star at the bottom. That might be one of the special ones they're talking about, would be my guess, but I don't actually know. I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, good luck. If that's you and that's the one you want, you may just win it. That one looked like a very different type of foil, so... Yeah, I think there's meant to be one special foil in every box. So that looked different than the others, so that is probably it. Senge Nosferatu. Disdainful Stroke. Okay. So we've only got three to go. Three to go, and then we're done. Okay. Now let's go through and see what we've got. We have got... Ooh, what have we got? Okay. Tomb Stalker. I don't even think I've got a rare in this pack. Banishing Light? Yeah. Unless that's it. Maybe I can't even see with my glasses. Alright. Hopefully I'm wrong. Didn't look like it. Maybe my lighting doesn't show up very well. So. There we go. And again. Getting through them. And we've got Safi Eric's Daughter. And we've got Feather the Redeemed. There you go. I had that in the last pack, but the one in the last pack was a very interesting looking foil. So, or well, two packs ago. And our very last pack, so good luck everyone. Let's see what we can get in the last pack. Do we finish on an all time high? Or just with a wimp? Um, Benelish Commander. Fag Tusk, and that's your lot. Okay, so thank you everyone. If you saw a card you like, put it in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, and you could win that card. Thank you.